Well, uh, now we're going to do question five here, uh, 2016 Feb, March, paper one. The question says, <coughs> excuse me, the graphs of the functions f of x is equal to a open bracket x plus p to the power of two plus q and g of x equal to k over x plus r plus d are sketched below. Uh, graph, both graphs cut the, x, the y axis at negative four. One of the points of intersection of uh, the graphs is uh, P1, negative 8, which is also the turning point of F. The horizontal asymptotes of G is uh, negative 2. Now, um, uh, in the previous videos, we did question uh, 5.1. Now we're going to do question 5.2. Uh, the question says, calculate the value of uh, PQ. Uh, actually, sorry, the, the value of uh, the value of k, r, and d. Now, uh, k, r, and d are these. Okay. K, r, and d are these values. K, r, and d. Now, if you look at these all graphs, okay, this is the graph of an hyperbola. Okay, we can see its arms, this one, and that one. So. Um, and then um, we can see what can, what can we notice from the question that uh, we have a points here, uh, negative four, the, inter uh, the y intercept, and they also have another points there, one negative eight. So we can use this, uh, and also we have the asymptote. So we can use this to solve uh, the problem. I'm gonna move my question, my board over here. Five from two, we are looking for uh, the values of k, of r and the value of d okay uh, and then uh, g of x itself is given by k over um, x plus r uh, plus d so now i'm gonna write it okay i prefer to, to move all this over here So why am I doing, okay, we have like 5.2, this is 5.2. Uh, I'm saying that because I wanted to draw a K here is just a parameter, parameter. And then this R here determines, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, vertical asymptotes. And then D is the horizontal asymptote, okay? Uh, this is the X value the vertical asymptotes and then this is the y value the <coughs> horizontal asymptotes excuse me now um we've seen that there is a point here the point uh uh negative four lies on uh, the graph of uh, the hyperbola okay and then we also have another point there and then we also have the asymptotes by negative two there so we can use this point to, to solve uh, the values of uh, the values we're looking for so now if I start by substituting the values of, uh, okay, y will be equal to, uh, y will be equal to k over x plus r plus d. Okay, y is the same thing as g of x. So now I want to set in the point, the point uh, uh, negative uh, one, negative eight. So this will be then negative eight for y. Okay, let's first start setting the points uh, zero, the intercept. Okay, the first intercept, the intercept was uh, zero, negative four. So this will be uh, negative four for y and then zero for x. Uh, and then this will be uh, negative four equal to uh, k over zero plus r uh, plus d. Now d is uh, the asymptote, so negative two. Now this will be like negative four equal to k over r minus two. If you move the negative two over, that makes negative four plus two equal to k over r over r. And then that makes uh, negative two equal to k over r. Then, uh, what you have here, <coughs> sorry, negative two equal to k over r. So we can cross multiply. Uh, before I do this, it's like negative two is like negative two over one. So if you cross multiply over here, this times that, 
So we, we will have that uh, one times k is just k, and then uh, r times negative two is just negative two r. So we can call this equation one. Now we can sub in another point, the point uh, one uh, negative eight, <coughs> excuse me. Then we will have, uh, here we had like y equal to k over uh, x plus r plus d, okay? We sub in the point, um, uh, one and negative eight, so negative eight for y, negative eight here, and then one for x, and then this will be uh, this equal to uh, k over uh, one plus r uh, plus uh, d. D is still the same uh, horizontal intercept. Now, if we move the negative two over, and this will be um, uh, negative eight plus uh, two equal to uh, k over uh, 1 plus r. And that makes uh, negative 6 equal to k over uh, 1 minus r, actually 1 plus r. Then um, uh, we, we notice that we can substitute the value of k. Okay, let's first cross multiply. Okay, move. So we have like negative six equal to k over one plus r. And then negative six is like this over one. And then we can cross multiply here. And then this will make a, a negative six, one plus r equal to, uh, or maybe let me start by writing. A one times k is just uh, k. And then negative six times one plus r. Now, remember, this is like equation equation two. Previously, we, we found that k was equal to negative two r. And then here again, k equal to uh, negative six, blah, blah, blah. So now, because the two are just the k, k equal to negative two r, k equal to negative six, open bracket, one plus r, we can just equate the contents, okay? We can just say, therefore, uh, we can just make, because they are both k's, we can just make one equal to k, one equal to two, so that this makes negative two r equal to negative six, uh, one plus r. Okay, uh, we can divide both sides by negative two to get rid of uh, this negative two, and then this is just r equal to uh, three open bracket one plus r, and then that makes r equal to uh, three plus three r. If I move that, uh, if I move the r over, <coughs> okay, and then three over, that makes negative three. I move this three over, and then the r over equal to three r minus r, and then that makes negative three equal to uh, 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 two r, and then to find r, I can just divide by by two both sides, and then we get uh, r equal to uh, negative three over two. Therefore, uh, k will be equal to k, which was two r. K will be uh, negative will be uh, two times the value of r, which is uh, negative three over two. And then we find that k will be uh, negative six. Now, um, excuse me, negative three. Uh, no, k was k was negative two r, negative two r, so negative two uh, r. That makes a positive. Um, that's negative here, so that makes positive positive three because uh, we can simplify here. This two with the two and the minus and the minus, so k is just equal to three. Therefore, our answer is um, uh, k is three. Uh, R is negative two over three, and then uh, D is just uh, negative two, the horizontal asymptotes. So this is the solution. Thank you.